And I just pay my personal tribute to all the medical staff right across this region for the amazing work that they are doing. Uh, every day they are the people who are taking the ultimate risk in looking after those who are suffering uh, from this terrible thing. Can I firstly uh, congratulate the community so far for what they're doing in relation to compliance. Now the National Cabinet have issued advice, the Chief Health Officer for Queensland has issued directions. So far we're seeing really good compliance in terms of the self-isolation and also the places and the numbers of people, the restrictions are relating to those. But we need all the community to really adhere to those restrictions so that we keep our family safe, our parents, our neighbours and everyone else in the community. It is very important that the community listen to those messages. If you don't need to go away, as the Prime Minister, the Premier have said, if you don't need to go anywhere, and need is need, this is not going to be like any other Easter holiday. So we need people, as best as they can, to stay in their home unless they're going out for necessary items. If you don't need to go out, if you don't have to go to work or go to school or um, go out for necessary um, household supplies, then stay at home. Now, this council is in a very strong financial position. Uh, we have uh, well over $150 million in reserves and I think it will be incumbent upon this council to do everything that we can do, together with the support of state government and federal government, to keep the, the vibrancy of this community going. Uh, particularly pleased to see the $130 billion JobKeeper program announced by the federal government just yesterday. Now the federal government has, with this program, uh, brought uh, support for our community up to the tune of $320 billion. Just to put that into perspective, that currently represents about 16.5 per cent of Australia's GDP. This is unprecedented, but it's required to uh, save lives and save livelihoods to get people through this challenge. So what we'll see through the JobKeeper program uh, is up to six million Australians uh, keep their jobs simply because the Australian government can make payments to their employers, their qualified employers, uh, to allow them to maintain wages of uh, up to $1,500 per fortnight. Now that's particularly important to keep those people and their families uh, uh, in, uh, in their jobs uh, to make sure that they still have income in those households and that is in turn of course money circulating in our economy.